In the male-dominated world of professional boxing, Gretchen Abagnale has earned her respect the old-fashioned way. The Palawan native has won several titles with her hard-hitting style. Though her male counterparts like Manny Pacquiao have become household names in the Philippines, few have heard of this pioneer of women's boxing. Um, for men and women, if you can compare, it's really, really like huge, you know, like difference in, 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 in when it comes to purse, especially. And for, for you know, for attention, because here you, you, you will select Manny Pacquiao and those, you know, a, a lot of, you know, uh, famous boxers, uh, men's boxers in the Philippines that they are, you know, they are being famous because of their achievements. But when it comes to women's boxing, as you can see, like, I'm already like three-time world champion, but like, who's Gretchen Abaniel until, until this time? But those who are familiar with her, like many on hand for her bout against Chama Porn Chiron in Paranaque City on September 30, know she has been paving the way for female boxing in the Philippines ever since her days on the national amateur team. Abaniel earned bronze at the World Championships in 2015. She turned pro a year later because of lack of government support. Her father introduced her to karate, archery, and track and field, but it was boxing she became hooked on. I want to get into the ring because my brother, when he get lost the fight, I'm really pissed off with him, like said, like, you better stop boxing. And if I'm going to be in, in that ring, if I'm going, if I can be better than you, you better stop and I will continue your, your career. She has battled the stigma against women in boxing from the day she first laced up gloves, but not even her mother's objections could keep her away from the ring. Even even my mom, my mom don't don't want you know don't want me to box, but I'm thinking like oh I can be good good at it, so why not? I'm I'm going to try. I'm going to fight. So yeah, no no one no one can stop you if you really like it. There are currently just 10 active professional women boxers in the Philippines, and Abinyel hopes her example will convince others to pick up the sport, whether for self-defense, to improve their fitness, or to pursue a championship. And I wish this uh, this fight can my, my fight if they they could watch it and um, you know some of some of the uh, especially mom you know they don't they don't accept you know a women's boxing or any sports with with their daughter you know and i hope i will be one of the inspiration for for for, for the filipino mothers you know filipino women you know to be to be in this uh, sports Abigail's fists have been her ticket to the world she's fought in many different countries and her prize money helped send her brother to school she now lives in sydney australia with her husband she trains with tony del vecchio 11 years after turning pro, she's on her best run yet, winning three straight fights, including a split decision over the previously unbeaten Aslam Sahin in Germany in 2015. Uh, we don't muck around. You know, there's, a, there's a motto in the gym, we make champions, you know, Bondi Boxing Club. Um, she trains th two times a day, six days a week. On this night, she had her hand raised as the victor, her 18th victory as a pro, and she hopes to have it raised again this month when she faces IBF minimum weight champion Zhang Ju Kai on October 28 in Macau. The two fought in 2015 with Kai prevailing by decision, but Abinyel is confident the rematch will be different. Um, I think it will be, it will be, it will be last until last run, but if if I could, you know, like uh, if I can set up my distance and my my punches, we get it really, you know. I could say like I'm more, I'm more stronger than her. So like if if the knockout comes, knockout will come. The phrase "fighting like a girl" is often used as a pejorative, but in Abinell's case, it takes on a far more formidable meaning. Ryan Sangalia, Rappler, Manila.